Hi, welcome to another video brought to you by AutoWave. So in this video, we've got a 2015 Vauxhall Mocha and the customer wants a spare remote key. So we're using a AUT RK0033, um, which is the spare key for this vehicle. So we've cut the blade. We know the blade turns in the, uh, in the ignition and I'm just gonna show you that this key is not programmed to the vehicle. So trying to start the vehicle doesn't happen. Central locking not working on that. This is the customer's original key. And I'm just going to start the vehicle. As you can see, everything turns on, all good. And the central locking is working fine. So in this video, we're gonna use the Xtool Pad Elite device, uh, which is a great device by Xtool. It's an all round key programmer. So on the menu, I'll tell you what I'll do is I'll just put it down here so you can see everything. Uh, we have also connected via OBD to the OBD port, which is just down on the right hand side, just below the little holder, very easy to access. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to key programming, and then I'm going to scroll down to Opal Voxel EU. This is an EU device. So being an EU device, it's got the EU specific software, not like one that you could buy from a, a cheaper online reseller. So on the menu, we've got read security code and immobilizer. With the Voxel, you have a pin code system, so we will need to read the security code. So I'm gonna hit read security code. It's got a whole host of options. Now, knowing that the Mocha is based on, like it's the same system as an Astra, I know it's a CAN vehicle, but in normal circumstances, you could just try all the way through from type one to type seven. So we're gonna do that. So let's hit type one. Now at the moment, it's saying switch ignition on or read security code. Now I've got a key to turn the ignition on, so I'm gonna hit read security code and I'm going to turn the ignition on. So read security code, fail to communicate. So we know it's not that type. We can try type two, type three. I'm gonna to go to CAN type four, read pin code. Scan tool is going to read the pin code. Do you want to continue? Yes. So now what this is doing, this is just reading the pin code from the BCM. If you select the wrong one, it will give you like a fail to communicate method like it did on type one. So if you were to try type two, type three, I've gone to straight to type four because I know it's in the BCM, but you could just go through the normal steps of trying to, uh, of trying to read the pin code. Okay, so as you can see on the screen, we've got pin code 3960 and it gives us a VIN number as well. VIN number is only 126. I'm just going to see on the panel just to see if the VIN code matches. Yeah, VIN code matches the vehicle. It's always good just to make sure so we know that one, there's been no module changes and two, if there's anything untoward that you should be aware of, uh, if anything doesn't go right in the procedure, you can, you know, it gives you a little bit more information. So I'm gonna hit okay and I'm just gonna remember the pin code 3960. And it's actually clearing the fault codes. So what X Xtool does, it automatically clears the fault codes. Because it's reading the BCM, you can often get fault codes that are registered. This is just cle cleared them out. So now I'm gonna exit that part and go into Immobilizer. Select from Vehicle. It's got an extensive um, list of vehicles because this device does support a lot of a lot of voxels. I hit Mocha. It says 13 to 19, which is correct. Right, so first what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna cycle the ignition on and off and I'm gonna hit read number of keys. Okay, so it's got two keys. Customer has already told us that they've only got one key, so we know that that will be this key that we have now, plus and a key which has been lost somewhere in the life of the vehicle. I'll hit okay. So now, I'm gonna program without smart, because this is a non-smart key, it's a bladed key. Hit program without smart, add keys. Right, so it says, close all the doors and switch the ignition to the on position. Again, I know all the doors are closed, I'm just gonna put my ignition back to the on position and press yes. Right, enter four digit password. So that's what we've just read using the read pin function, 3960. Communicating, configuring the system, please wait for 10 minutes. So now this has a 10 minute timer, which you find with a lot of the later Voxel systems that 
it's basically, it's entering the security system, doing what it needs to do, and there's a 10 minute wait time. So, we've come to our end of our 10 minutes wait time, and now it's saying, uh, and obviously it's come down with some rain. Uh, first, open, then close the driver's door to confirm all the uh, electrical components is off. So, open and close, and then I'm gonna hit OK. Please insert the key you wish to be programmed and switch the ignition on. Key I wish to be programmed. I'm just gonna switch the ignition to the on position. Lights are on the dashboard. And as you can see, it's got the security light flashing and it says engine power is reduced. That is quite normal because this key technically isn't programmed. So now I'm gonna hit OK, configuring system. And it says on here, want to program another key. I don't because we've done an add key. This has stayed in the system and we've already added this key. So we don't want to. So I hit no, switch the ignition to the off position, remove the key and press OK. Open and close the driver's door. Press OK. Configuring system. Please wait for 45 seconds. So now we're just going to let that uh, wait time go. All the lights on the dashboard are off, as you can see. So you've got no lights on the dashboard. The ignition is off. The car is essentially as if you've just left the car with no keys in. And uh, we're just going let it, to let it count down. As you can see, the aftermarket key looks identical. We had already cut the blade previously, so we are, and this is a, an auto wave key. I've not tried any buttons either yet. Okay, switch the ignition to the on position, press okay. So I'm gonna use the key I've just programmed. It doesn't state which key, but I'm gonna use the one I've just programmed. Hit it to the on position, hit okay. It says loading. <clears throat> so the car has come on. Now, in terms of warning lights, it says engine power is reduced. Um, that's fine, that's quite normal. The light, the security light has gone. So to me, that says that the um, key is programmed. So it says switch ignition to the off, press OK. On, press OK. Programming is now complete. And now if I hit OK, I'm gonna try lock and unlock, works fine. As you can see, pin going up and down. I'm gonna go lock and unlock. Now, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start it with the new to vehicle key. Start the car, dashboard's on. Obviously it's giving us a seatbelt warning sign because we haven't got any seatbelts on, but everything is good. Uh, I'll just see if I can get rid of that message. Yeah, so I've got rid of that message. As you can see on the dashboard, everything's Everything's normal. Take that key out and put my original key back in. Try and start the vehicle. Start the vehicle. I'm just gonna remove that seatbelt sign. And again, everything's normal on the vehicle and everything's working fine. So, now I've got two keys fully working using an AutoWeave AUTRK0033 with a voxel mocker using the Xtool Pad Elite. Thanks for watching. Please like our videos, subscribe to our channel, and any questions, leave a comment below.